Hello everyone and welcome to Fun with Networks, right? Uh, I'm Vic uh, and a bit later with Blurry because my cam is not very good. If you want to buy me a new computer, that's okay. Well, uh, apart from that, uh, I am Vic uh, because I want to show you something. On our previous uh, exercise, our example, we, we connected two computers directly to each other, right? using one cable and we said that each computer has one plug where we can insert one connector where we can insert a cable okay so we can connect one computer okay with another but what happens if as usually happens we want to connect more than two devices to a network okay in that case we need a device which is called a switch right this is a switch right a, a, a small switch there are bigger ones right but a switch is a device that has multiple connectors okay that can be connected to the same network right so here if we need imagine that we need to connect eight computers this switch has eight connectors we can connect one computer to each of these connectors and if we configure their IP addresses properly right they would belong uh, to the same network right uh, what happens if I need to connect more than eight in this case well, I can get another switch, right? Connect a cable here, okay? Another cable to another switch, and then I can connect more than one computer, right? I will show you right now. Wait a little bit. I'm back with two switches, okay? Imagine that I want to connect 10 computers to the same network, and I only have this kind of switches, okay? With eight connectors, each of them. If I get one a network cable okay this is also uh, called an ethernet cable right i can connect it doesn't matter okay this this simple switches uh, in in these simple switches it doesn't matter which hole we we use because all of them are the same we've got managed switches which uh, uh, which can be used for more complex uh, scenarios okay in which we can configure each port but this is not the case right so here in this case if i do this right I, uh, now I have uh, another 14 connectors where I can connect a uh, 14 computers right so in case that I've got uh, switches with eight connectors right like these ones and I need to connect 10 computers I can do this right so we can use this kind of switches also in our uh, on our simulator let's see how to use them using switches on the simulator is a really easy thing right let's imagine that I've got not two but four computers right let's add four hosts and uh, I want to create a network with these four computers okay I cannot link the four of them together because each one has only one connector to connect one cable right but if I add a switch okay this is a switch in our simulator I can do this I can create a link from the switch to one computer okay and here I see that on the switch okay I've got eight holes from the zero to the seven and on the computer I've got one so I can connect okay we have said that these are simple switches okay it doesn't matter which uh, interface which connector we use okay so I can choose any of them as long uh, as it's not already used right so I get this and this I create a connector I create another link okay the first one is already used I cannot reuse it I save in case I need to delete the connector, okay, I can click here and I can delete it, okay, it's not the case, just for you to know. I create another link and I create another link, the last one. Okay, if I want these four computers to belong to the same network, I will have to uh, every its IP address. Okay, I'm going to use 10.0.0.1. Okay, uh, two, three, and four. Right. If I want them to belong to the same network, right, as this is a network mask, 
the first three numbers must be the same, exactly the same. So I will copy this, save, this is number two, this is number three, and this is number four. Now that everything is connected and configured, I can do this. I can come from, from to this computer, network diagnostics, right? And I can, for example, I can ping this other computer, right? If I paste here, now this, 10, zero, zero, 4, okay, and I ping, what will happen? Okay, the switch is going to, to know uh, which cable it must use to uh, talk to that computer. Okay, so it will send the message to the uh, correct computer. And when, when the message comes back, the switch will also know where is uh, the, the first computer and it will send it the message. Okay, let's see if that's true. Okay, there you are and they answer the response goes back to the first computer right so if i send one ping to ip4 one ping to ip3 and one ping to ip2 okay you see that i have sent one ping to this ip address I have sent pings to these other IP addresses and I have received all the responses, right? So everything is connected. We have said that it is also possible to connect one switch to another one. Let's add another switch. Okay, here I can connect this switch to this other one, okay, on the first one, four of the connectors of the interfaces are used, so I get another one, this one, I save, and I'm going to add another computer. Okay, this this uh, has a, a no real sense, because I can connect that last computer to the first switch, but just as an example, okay, for you to see, I will link this computer to the second switch I will configure this computer so it belongs to the same network 10 0 0 this is going to be 5 I'm going to copy this save and now from this computer if I ping uh, inside network diagnostics okay if I ping to computer that whose IP address ends in one, okay, the switches will know which way do they have to, to they have to send the message, right? And which is the way back. Okay, so we can use uh, multiple switches okay, to connect uh, multiple devices. Okay, how many devices can we connect this way? Okay, it depends on our network, but uh, take into account that uh, we have said that with the network mask that we are using, the first three numbers must be the same in order to belong to the same network. So we only have the last number, which can go from 0 to 255, okay? That is 256 numbers, but uh, number 0 cannot be used and number 255 cannot be used, okay? So I would be able to create a network with uh, 254 devices, okay? From zero to 255, but the edges should not be used, okay? A, a network address should not end uh, with zero, okay? An IP address should not end with zero and should not end with uh, 255. So if uh, I have the last number of the IP address to, to uh, assign it to different computers, I can use 254 addresses in my network 
okay, given the the network mask that I am using. Okay, so that's it.